So the hardest part about the USMLE journey is actually not what most people think they are. People usually assume the hardest things about this journey is the USMLE exams or the visa status or just being an IMG. However, going through this journey myself as an IMG matching to plastic surgery, I found other things to be the hardest parts of the USMLE journey. In my opinion, the hardest part about matching to residency as an IMG in the US is connections. When you come in a new country, people don't know you, don't trust you, don't know if you understand the system, if you understand the culture. However, the good news is you can build your own connections. You can build these connections through US clinical experience, through research, and we have a detailed course that can help you find research positions in the US and I'll leave the link for that in the description below. The second harder things in my opinion is the cost of the USMLE journey. Matching into residency in the US is a very expensive process, starting with the USMLE exams that cost over a thousand dollars each, going to the US clinical experience which costs thousands of dollars. The match process itself costs between three to ten thousand dollars depending on how many programs you apply to and if you decided to do research, that's additional ten to thirty thousand dollars to cover the expenses of living in the US during your research time. And the other limitation here is that most IMGs who are pursuing residency in the US are on B1 or J1 visa and both these visas don't allow you to work in the US and make money. The third hardest thing about the USMLE journey for IMGs is planning. Most IMGs decide about pursuing residency in the US late in their medical school. They don't have enough time to do their USMLE exams before they graduate. Therefore, they can do electives. Sometimes they rush to finish an exam before the match. They don't score well. So planning is usually a big challenge for most IMGs because this process is very long. You have step one, step two CK, OIT exam, ECFMG certification, US clinical experience, personal statements, CV, research, interviews. It's a very lengthy process and requires a lot of planning. If you find any value in this video, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell sign so you get notified whenever I post future videos on my YouTube channel. If you need any help with your residency application, with editing your personal statements, CV, or just general advice on how to get into residency in the US, make sure to check our website, matchguide.com, and I'll leave the link for our services and courses in the description below. Thank you everyone so much for watching, and always remember, the Match Guy is here for you.